Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Xbox Game Pass weekly quest guide. Today we have got a quest for State of Decay 2, the Juggernaut Edition. This is going to be good through next Tuesday, November 2nd. It's worth 50 Microsoft Rewards points and the objective is to kill 25 zombies. So we're going to take care of that pretty quickly within State of Decay 2. So we'll go ahead and get that game launched and started up. And here we go, hopping right into the menu. So there are a few different uh, sort of game modes within this game that you might want to try out. Campaign might be the most obvious. We're actually going to go with the Daybreak game mode, though. It's sort of a wave-based uh, survival game mode. So we're going to just go ahead and press A to say Start Daybreak, and this will start up a solo or more or less solo game mode. You're going to have some NPCs that assist you with trying to fortify and defend the area that you're surviving in, but you'll be the only human player that's in the middle of this. So on the starting gear screen, just go ahead and go with all of the defaults here. There's, that's a pretty good setup, so we'll press A to confirm and we'll get started in our daybreak mode here. You can hold down the Y button to skip this opening cutscene if you wanna save a little bit of time in this, in this section. And I'm just gonna kinda of highlight the sections of the map. You've got these walls in front of you here that need to be fortified and uh, held up, ideally, to be able to survive the daybreak. And then you've got these three caches back behind you that have ammo and other supplies inside of them. So we're gonna walk up to these before the waves start coming in and press Y. So you've got your inventory on the right side of the screen and then you've got the items that are in the cache in the middle of the screen here. So we're gonna press A to take the fortification kits and put those in our inventory. And then if you go over to your inventory, there are a couple things in here you don't really need. The bandages, you could go ahead and press A to store those in the, in the cache here and this bag of snacks, you could do the same thing. That'll free up your, your backpack to be able to hold more ammunition in it. And then as you go up to each cache, it may have some of this uh, ammunition, this uh, 7.62 millimeter ammunition that looks like this. So if you see any of that in there, take that and put it into your inventory. So just press A to add it into your inventory. And if you see any of those repair kits that have an X on them, try and put those into your inventory as well, because we're going to do some repairing as we, as we go around. You probably won't need all of them, but go ahead and grab all that you can, I guess, the wall repair kits. And don't worry about the shotgun, unless you just prefer to use the shotgun, then you could, uh, you could get that, and grab that ammo. Uh, but we'll walk up to this broken wall and hold down the Y button to use one of those repair kits to fortify this broken wall. And you'll see as, as we go through here, the zombies are going to attack those walls and we'll need to re-fortify them. Let me know when I can get started. So just grabbing one more wall repair kit here so that I have all that I can carry. I think you can hold six of those at a time and we won't end up using all six of them. Now when you've got all your ammo that you want and all of the wall repair kits, you can go ahead and press Y to talk to the technician there and get the first wave started up. I hope everyone's ready. I don't think we have much time until the zombies get here. I'll keep you posted on major events from up here. Good luck. As far as the controls in this game, it's very similar to other shooters. Um, you'll basically hold down the left trigger to kind of start aiming your rifle, and then the right trigger, of course, to shoot. And zombies, of course, you know, thinking of, of who we're fighting against, try to shoot them in the head. They'll go down a lot faster, and you'll get to your 25 a lot faster. So just kind of watch out these openings of the different walls and try to, yeah, try to keep the zombies off of the walls. I find it's a little bit easier to shoot them when they're already sort of attacking and wailing on the surface of the wall because they're, they're just more stationary. They're standing in one spot. So just kind of scan back and forth, move back and forth, and uh, you can watch your radar as well whenever you see any of those green dots on the screen. Uh, up against the wall that that'll give you an indication of where the zombies are and where you need to be heading to and shooting Like I said, you've got two NPCs that are here that are also helping defend the wall with you Fast. 
So just cleaning up the last few guys from wave one here. And we're almost finished with wave one. And once you get to wave two, you should you should get your 25 at this point. So I think I think this probably took me about 10 minutes overall to do the whole thing. So not too too lengthy of a process. Now, if you're not doing a very good job of monitoring where the zombies are, they may break through some of the walls and probably one or more and uh, you'll need to go up to the walls and repair them again. So you can see this one's a little bit broken. It's not completely broken, but we'll go ahead and repair it before wave two starts. And I'll talk about melee attacks in just a second here as well. So, so in between waves, just kind of run around to each of the green walls, make sure that they don't need to re be repaired. And if they do, just hold down the Y button to use one of your wall repair kits to, uh, to re-fortify them. So if you do need to uh, to get into any sort of melee combat, you know, if the walls do break down, you can basically just hit the B button and you'll be able to use your sword to take out some of the zombies that way. Of course, you can shoot them as well if you still have ammo. If you run out of ammo, probably the best option is just to let the zombies go ahead and knock down one of the walls and then start trying to get melee kills with the, the sword using the B button. And worst case scenario, if you can't survive this and you can't get your 25 kills uh, in a single round of Daybreak, you just load up another round of Daybreak and go for it again. Not really sure what happened there. For some reason, my one of my teammates seemed to be attacking me just for a split second. So I started attacking back, thinking that somebody had knocked through one of the walls. But... Uh, but anyway, there we go. We've got our weekly quest completed, and we've got those 50 points. So we'll go ahead and turn that in. Uh, we also got 10 points at the same time for unlocking an achievement there. But that is going to do it for State of Decay 2. Uh, I've got a guide for Blair Witch that also just came out on YouTube here, and I'll have a guide coming out later today for Wander Song for earning three achievements uh, for the Microsoft Weekly Reward Set and grabbing about 160 points in that guide. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.